going to the truck. He's getting my license plate number. He's talking on this radio. The Islamic Mosque in Bloomington, Minnesota is one of the most controversial mosques in America and the largest one in Minnesota. Up to 30 Somali Americans, all of whom frequented the Al Farouk Youth and Family Center, are reportedly believed to have joined or tried to join terrorist groups overseas. Dar al Farouk is dedicated to the implementation of Sharia Islamic law in America. This type of law, Sharia law, is against the Constitution of the United States. To begin with, the head of the mosque is an imam trained in Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Walid al-Manis is one of the most dangerous imams in America. He openly preaches Sharia and issues fatwas. Fatwas are public judgments the imams issue which allow any Muslim who accepts the authority of the imam to carry them out, including death penalties. But let's turn our attention to an issue that should have raised red flags a long time ago, whether this was a church, a synagogue, or a mosque. To be more specific, the mosque has been violating city code since it took possession of the property in Bloomington. Dar al Farouk has 157 parking spots they fill to max capacity every single Friday. The mosque also has a non-exclusive use of the Smith Park parking lot, situated right next to the mosque. However, their exclusive use of the lot has hampered park patrons from using Smith Park, to a point where the mosque now treats it as their own property. According to the city policy, Parking in and around the neighborhood is only to be used for special occasions and only a few times a year. Additionally, the city does not allow businesses to rely on the on-street parking, and yet the mosque patrons park in the street weekly, which is against city policy. This means that Dar al Farouk has been violating the conditional use permit every single week since 2011 when they purchased the property. Bloomington City Council has turned a blind eye to the violations of the mosque, and local residents have all but given up trying to have their voices heard. Since the First Amendment gives us the right to film as long as we're on public property, we decided to film what a normal Friday looks like. This is what our camera caught on Friday, December 14th, 2018. What you are seeing is in fact happening every single week. Imagine this occurring on your street on a weekly basis. We saw cars moving at high speeds down the street. On a few occasions, some of the cars almost collided right in front of us. The public parking lot became completely filled to capacity during mosque prayer hours. In brief, none of this should be happening under the conditional use permit that Dar al Farouk must abide and comply with. But what we weren't prepared for was the reaction of the Muslims asking us, are you allowed to film? Where do you have allowance to do this? Why do you have to film? You have a right to do this? Our response? Yeah, it's called the First Amendment. Have you heard of it? We are standing on public property and absolutely have the right to document what's happening here every single Friday at Dar al Farouk. Not me. You can yep. you can go picture away. anything you, you want. I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call the police. Why? It's yeah. public property. I don't care. 
You don't care? Okay. Can you imagine any church violating their conditional use permit like this on a weekly basis? You are in a private parking, so I like to know the reason you are here. No, it's public. No, it's a private. No, nope. and the police are here. It's a private. It's public. It's private. Why is the city of Bloomington pretending they are unaware of the impact all this is having on this Bloomington neighborhood? <music> Local residents are moving out. They've grown tired of being ignored ridiculed and belittled by a mosque breaking city code on a weekly basis. The intense use of the property has brought dangerous levels of traffic that includes dangerous speeds. The neighborhood has also seen crime increase. Many people are frustrated with a city council bending over to accommodate the Muslims in the name of political correctness. Fear has silenced a good number of people. So again, do we have the right to film? Yes we will film and report on future mosque violations. The Mosque Diaries will chronicle this and other cases of mosques abusing freedom of religion to propagate an ideology actually aimed at destroying liberty. We'll also report on the city of Bloomington closing their eyes to the continual abuse of Dar al farouks conditional use permit and we'll expose other parties involved in the Islamic takeover of Minnesota neighborhoods through fraudulent transactions abusing conditional use permits. Our hope is that the Mosque Diaries will help people in Minnesota become aware not only of the Bloomington situation, but of a growing trend of mosques breaking the law and using political pressure to silence their critics in order to achieve their fundamentalist goals. Okay, if you refuse to identify yourself, you can be arrested, do you understand that? I'm here to investigate a possible crime. I'm here to identify you as part of that possible crime.